Hello everyone, Susie Gaming here and welcome to Sea of Craft, a brand new crafting game released two weeks ago. It's a sandbox ocean building game with realistic physics simulation. Now, in the past I revealed lots of craft, ride, destroy games and none of them had a water physics. So this will actually be a new experience for me. I know there's a community made ocean map in Brick Ricks, but you need to dig into the files there. It's not a, like a workshop thingy. But here, it's built in game. And we're gonna test it out. How does this game feel? Already looks beautiful. Ship Expo is basically a workshop where other players put in their builds. Now, I already downloaded some of them. Uh, we're gonna check them out. Most of them are bad. Absolutely no effort put in. Okay, let me subscribe to this one as well okay even though this is a ship game you can also build a car aircraft i don't know why there's an anime option here and exotic stuff i don't know what the hell is that about uh, as you can see in creative mode you can select a land map island map and ocean map let's start with this one g5 torpedo as you can see, the parts that are being used are displayed at the right side. There's some decent amount of complex parts. If you're looking for detailed builds, pressing space. And here's our little submarine. Oh, it's quite fa Wait, that's not a submarine. It's a boat, right? Looks like a submarine though. Okay. So, I don't see any weapons attached to it. Yep, there's no weapons. Wow. A water physics. In a crafting game. That's amazing. Now, we're gonna check out how parts are falling. Oh, that's some sort of a mine. Okay, here we go. Alright, we can see some parts are being destroyed one by one. We also have an HP bar at the left bottom. Uh, not a big fan of that. I would have preferred a brick rick style of destruction. The destruction quality is not that good actually. It, it actually feels like uh, the old game I reviewed, Steamcraft. That cursed game. Oh, I just rammed them and destroyed them. Alright. Let's check out the other stuff. Okay, we have a fighter aircraft. I don't think I need a land map for that. Let's just go. Please. No. Okay. I <laughs> I don't know what happened. We're sinking! Yeah, as you can see, we can go underwater as well. Which is great. Right, next one is the whale. Here we go. Dropping the whale. Oh, FPS is 10 right now. This is a complex build. Okay. I'm pressing W. We have some movement. Whoa! Doing the classic whale jump, I see. That was kinda cool, even though it's 10 FPS. Yeah, when there is a uh, water physics in the game, I believe it will be really hard to optimize. So, good luck to the developer. But, C looks kinda cool, right? Okay, I'm pressing S right now. What's gonna happen? It's just stopped. And I'm kind of reversing the whale. <laughs> oh, look at the tail. Wow. What? It's actually cool how elastic... How rubbery the tail is. Kind of gives the realism. I don't know what kind of part he used there. But yeah, that's a whale. 10 FPS whale. Let's see what it is. Can it float? 
Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, it's sinking. But I have this little boat now, which is extremely cool. FPS is back to 60, by the way. <laughs> Look at this. So yeah, uh, to keep the ship above the water, you need these barrels, which is extremely unesthetic. Look, we have two options here. Guns and melee. Oh my god. <laughs> Pan. Okay. A spearhead. Circular saw. I, I just want to put it. It's actually spinning. Wow. That's cool. Spear. A chain hammer. That's cool. A great sword. Now that's a bit absurd. Okay. <laughs> the pen is absurd. Definitely. Now let's check out the guns. We have blasting cannon, charge ballista, repeater, saw crossbow. Oh my god, that's the coolest weapon ever. Salvo gun. Popcorn gun. What the hell is popcorn gun? Oh, and that's a decent looking cannon. Not absurd, realistic. Salvo gun is just scary. It looks scary. U-Boat 115. It has a salvo gun. Okay, just... Wow. Let's spawn an enemy. There it is. We have also a weapon wheel. If you press tap, you can switch between weapons. Mortar looks amazing. Oh. I actually f shooting at myself. What the hell? Yeah. Let's switch to this one. Okay, that was a really silly destruction, okay? Extremely similar to the Steam Craft, which was a disastrous game. Black Pearl. Okay, those barrels again, looking extremely silly. Like, if I was him, I would have put the barrels inside. I don't know if it's possible. What is that? Propeller. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Oh, FPS dropped. This is a detailed build. 20, 15 FPS. Oh! We're raising, come on! Okay, I'm gonna press W. Let's see if it's gonna help. Here we go. Surfaced and jumping. <laughs> We also have blasting cannons. Oh my god. I'm just shooting myself. Okay. Um <laughs> there's some balance issue. <laughs> and the mast looks like it's been made out of rubber, a rubbery material. I don't know what's happening at the front. There is a spinning part there. Um, <laughs> I don't think this is a very solid build. But yeah, it's... At least he tried. He tried. Oh my god, let's see if it's going to be... Uh... 15 FPS again, detailed build. Oh, where are my cells going? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> They're just, nope, we're out of here. Something is wrong, guys. Something is definitely wrong. Maybe I need to activate something. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. Now all of them fired. No, 
not at my ship. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now it's working. But again, there is a balance issue. That was kind of a man of war type of ship. Oh, we have a cargo ship here. Much more stable and it looks small as well. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, it's flip it's flipping. It's flipping. 60 FPS, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's just basic cargo ship. Something wrong with the balance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going submarine mode. I'm pressing W, but it's not going. There's the propellers, by the way. I love this option, guys. Uh, like, you can look from underwater. As you can see. So there's no camera limitation. That prevents you to do that. I guess this thing needs more propellers. Or maybe developer can add a bigger propeller model. For Leviathan ships like this so we don't need to put like 10 or 20 propellers look how how it's turning so there there is rotation array propellers and stable ones cool yeah uh, basic build basic build at least it's functional i mean it's just a design choice then we have a saw that's yeah a circle or so as you can see at the side of the ship okay and you can also attach those spikes to that saw as well wow okay what weapons we have equip oh here we go saw crossbow let's see what it is oh that's cool oh that's just one shot him So this saw launching thingy doesn't have a special animation, I guess. It just goes through. Kinda sad. This sound is really annoying. Extremely. We have ballistas. Repeater. Okay. 15 FPS. But I guess it's worth it. Look at this. What have you done? He even made a custom propeller there. Oh, one part is falling. But oh, look at this. Kinda submerged, but... There's even a radar there. Amazing. Nicely done. Uh, that cannon is going crazy, by the way. Okay, that's enough. We got the idea. This one just says ship. But let's see if it's stable. Okay, okay. Basic and functioning. Whoa, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Looks good though. <laughs> it's like from Pirates of Caribbean movie. Let's flip the ship to teleport back. Oh, look, we have some options here. Speed. Oh. Place down. Movement. Okay. Advanced. And as you can see, some options here. There's short video tutorial. This is amazing. This should be in every crafting game. Unhide, separate. This one looks really interesting. Combine. And that's it. Let's check out the land crafts. Oh, watch out. No, legs are not moving. They should move, right? Why it's not moving? Huh? 
Oh my god, he he strapped some cannons there. But they're not firing. Chinese tank, I guess, or Russian. <laughs> it's moving! It's moving! Hallelujah! F2, I spawned enemy! Okay, we're gonna have to use top guns, looks like. And yeah. That's just silly. Let's be honest here. Yeah. But did this game have a potential? 20 FPS. It's ginormous. <laughs> it's like 10 times larger than the previous thing. What are those spinny thingies? Is this a destructible? Oh yeah. Oh, those are target practice. Okay, okay. Buildings are getting destroyed. What the hell? Holy smokes! They're getting destroyed. Look at that. Now oh, that's impressive. Look at that. Wow. Cool. But apparently we can't destroy trees. That's lame. Ah! No! It's underwater tiger now. No! We're slipping. And rest in peace, tiger. Damn it. Uh oh, don't spawn it yeah. Never mind. It's amphibious. That's... No. 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 Let me out of here. No! Okay, here we go. Here... Whoa, 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 whoa! That's finally something fast. Okay, no destruction simulation here. Oh, never mind. That's cool. <laughs> Cactuses can be destroyed as well. Mine. We have a mine. Extremely weird controls though. Okay, this is Steamcraft, okay? It's not breaking. Let's see what they are. What is this? How is this recommended? Okay, it's just a bear. The design looks like that Halo tank. At the ground vehicle wise, there is nothing impressive in this game. The most interesting ones are obviously the ships. Altitude that we can sink to. I like the detail that when you sink, you cannot fire your weapons. Wow, I think it's infinite. Cool. Alright, this one is trending. Go Titanic, go! 30 FPS. Looks big, but extremely stable. Yeah, okay, something wrong guys, something wrong. With the buoyancy of the ships. 
that's a cool submarine experience. Yep, pretty sure passengers are having a good time. And that was some vehicles out from Expo. There's also multiplayer. However, there's no servers. <laughs> Maybe it's a server error or something. I don't know. Okay. Open C. Logbook. I don't know what is this. A large group of fires are located. All right. Chapters. This one looks interesting. Some sort of a story mode. Lava map, snow map, city map, I guess. All right, enter the chapter. Let's see. Oh my god! Whoa, it's long. It's long. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's try one. Okay. So let's build our first boat, I guess. Twenty minutes later. All right, guys. After completing some missions in this chapter, uh, they're like uh, reach this destination and. 20 seconds, try to dodge the enemy weapons. It's basically a tutorial mission. If this game had destruction simulation like in Brick Ricks or Space Engineers, it would have been a blast. But currently it has this uh, Robocraft, Steamcraft type of damage system. The falling part simulation is just not satisfying to the eye. This wobbly ports, I think developer tried to make it similar to the Besiege. I know that Besiege have a lot of wobbly ports in the builds, but still Besiege uh, have much more better uh, destruction simulation. I'm actually not recommending it yet, maybe on sale, definitely get it on sale, but uh, right now it's just a meh. It was really interesting uh, having this water maps, it's unique for the crafting game. And it was a different experience. Game have this weird style of choice. It's not modern. It's like uh, most of the parts are steampunk. So you can add, have rocket launcher, missile launcher on your ship. It would have been awesome to craft modern destroyers. Or I don't know, battleships with big turrets. Game just feels off to me. I hope developer will improve it in time. But yeah, that was Sea of Crafts. If you like this video, I highly recommend you to watch my Brick Ricks playlist and also watch my Steamcraft playlist as well to see how similar the builds are compared to this game. It's a steampunk type of game as well, Craft, Ride, Destroy. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.